Good morning guys, you join me fresh off the school run. I haven't even got ready yet. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, dude, you're wearing the same slacks you were wearing yesterday. And you would be right, I am right now. I've literally just got back off the school run and I'm about to tackle this. Dudes, we only left the house for like a week when we went away and I'd mowed it just before then. And it's like, it's like a foot high. I lost pretty in this this morning. So I thought, that's it man, it's time to start it out. So yeah, I'm back in my old clothes from yesterday because there's no point in dirtying another set of clothes up because I'm gonna get filthy like I do every time I do the garden. <sighs> it's time to sort this place out. I've literally just spent the last hour finishing up the daily vlog that's going up tonight, finishing up another project that's going up on iFarm Extras in a couple of weeks. It's just past 10 o'clock and I need to have this finished by lunchtime so me and Sarah can go out. <sighs> it's a big job guys. Better crack on. I wanna hear you say yeah. Don't know where that little song came from. It is just before lunchtime and Chris is just downstairs mowing our lawn. I literally just got out of the shower, did my makeup, got dressed, didn't really do anything with my hair except tie it up. And we are about to get ready to head on out. The girls have their dance show coming up next month and we have been sorting out costumes and things their dance school usually provides the costumes we just pay like whatever the costumes cost but this year it's been done slightly different and for one of the dances of each girl so i think they're in two or three dances each for one of them we are providing our own costume so we've been given like a theme Esme has to wear a crop top with dance pants. I think Isabel's is like neon colours with a tutu. And Isla's is like farm girl. Oh, I've gone really blurry. And Isla's is like farm girl with dungarees. I've got Isla's. I haven't even made a start on Isabel's yet. And I need to go and pick Esme's up, which I ordered her from next. Because trying to find a crop top for an eight-year-old was not easy. I did find some on River Island and then I took a quick look on Next and as there's a Next literally just up the road I thought I'd just order one from there. Need to go pick those up and then I feel really annoyed this morning. I really wanted to put our bedding in the wash and just get it all washed and fresh and smelling nice because there's nothing better than washed freshly smelling bedding. However as it's now coming up to lunchtime and we need to leave and I don't have a dryer I don't think we've got time to do that now, so that's going to have to wait until tomorrow. <sighs> it's done! I've still got the streaming to do later though, but right now I need to go wash my sweaty head and get ready because we've got places to be. And we'll finish this when we get back tonight. You feeling nervous? No, not at all. I've <laughs> been feeling nervous. Although I've only got one L play and I'm not sure if you're supposed to have one on the front and one on the back. Hmm. Oh well, what I'll have to do. Are you ready for this? Aye, apple pie. Let's do it. We're back on it with the practical lessons today. She's stressing. <laughs> I'm not stressing. This is the first time you've done your petrol on your own? No. I've done it once before, but remember I got all flustered and messed up. Which one is it? Is it which, which do you think? This one. Yeah. Aww. So is it just going to take what I use now off the card? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well done. Good job, babe. I know. I feel like such a grown-up. Let's see if you can pump your tire up now as well. Oh, no. Oh, actually, yeah, you can tell me how to do that. You can do this, Mum. Can we all just uh, take a moment to laugh at my uh, parking? 
<laughs> oh, did you make? Yeah. <laughs> Push it on hard. Yeah, yeah, it'll start pumping. Make sure it's pushed on hard the whole time. You sweating yet? Yeah, I am. It's too hot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, done it. Take it off now. Yeah, that's it. Good. You good? Ah! Did to do that? Yeah, it's all good. Put your cap back on. Sorted. Your first car tire fixing. Yay! So you're passing life goals today, babe. Now are you ready for the ultimate test? I'm boiling. Okay, we're facing the ultimate test right now. <laughs> the McDonald's drive-thru. I need a drink, so bad. <laughs> Do you think, what if it's not legal for me to go for a drive-thru? Um, as a provisional? I think it probably is. I think it's all good. Do you reckon? Yeah. This is the ultimate learner test tight, right now. Though, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's why it's the there. ultimate test for you. Taking on the drive-thru. Here we go. Oh. Oh my gosh, I literally oh. just installed. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> I love you, Mama. Okay, that wasn't me screaming, it was my squeaky windows. She's like, okay, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a fail, babe. What do you want? Do you want a Coke? Just a Coke, please. I'm gonna get a latte. Where's my card? How can you even think about drinking a latte in this weather? An iced latte. Oh, fair play. Hi there, could I get a large coke please? Large coke, yeah anything else? Yeah, could I also get an iced, uh, what they call caramel, frap? Yeah, thingy. anything else? No, that's all, thank you. You can press the next window when you can, thank you. Thank you. I don't know where your card is, love. Or is it you just had it? Oh, it's my purse, it's my purse. Whoa. Oh God. Oh, what's this car doing here? Oh. Cheeky, cheeky. oh, I think she's done it. Oh, we've still got to do the payment stage. Oh, you're such, you're such a geek. You're such a geek. Oh, is she gonna? Oh, can she do it? Oh, we'll line up Hello. with the window nicely. Thank you. She's ticking all the boxes right now, guys. <laughs> I don't know where I put my card. Oh my! I've got some change. One minute. Oh, that's the foot on the accelerator. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. How do you feel? This is a magic moment for you, babe. This is the first like time under, doing a McDonald's drive through I'm under pressure. You're not stressing me out. Your first drive through ever? Feel happy? No. You should get a happy meal. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. This guy behind is going to have to wait a moment. Right, you ready? Wait up. Oh. You are such a geek. Is it this window here, she said? Final stage three. Here we go. Can she hey, grab the hi. coat? Hi. Thank you. Oh. Thank you very much. I was looking like, what on earth oh. is this guy talking about? <laughs> yeah, well, man. We're all looking at you. <laughs> we're secret shoppers. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, final stage. Can she drive away without crashing into the back end of the drive oh, through? That's so embarrassing. Literally, everyone's Here we staring. go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes, I'm oh. an official driver. She's passed. <laughs> She's done her first ever McDonald's drive through Oh dear. Well done kid, the world is yours. <laughs> I tell you what though, sometimes McDonald's Cokes are just the best thing in the world. Yeah, I actually agree with that. They actually really are. Oh. And right now that is the best thing in the world. We're currently just doing a little bit of spying on our maybe new neighbourhood. We're, we're literally on a building site right now. Yeah, it's, li it's literally all a building site right now pretty much. Unless you go up there. Some of them are built up. Ugh. And one of them in the corner just up there is the one. So we just came into Next to pick up Esme's clothes and things that I was telling you about earlier. We just decided to have a look at some lights because, funnily enough, as long as me and Chris have lived together, like 11 years, lights have never ever been something we've ever been interested in. Like we have like £2.99 budget light shades in every <laughs> single room of our house and there's nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that at all but recently we've been more into wanting something a bit nicer and been thinking about when we move home like the type of lights and things that we like and look how got I mean it's 200 pounds which is a bit of an upgrade from our 299 specials look how gorgeous that thing there is it is gorgeous though. imagine that like above a long dining table like long ways yeah, that is super so nice. nice I'm really excited like I'm getting old babe I'm like stood here really excited about lights. 
literally like the year of the pineapple this year, guys. <laughs> Favorite song ever. This song just instantly makes you go like this. It's like instant cheek egg song. Okay, so we made a quick pit stop in Sainsbury's. I'm just at the bakery. Is it really bad that I want one of those and one of those for lunch? Those are like my favorite from when I was a kid. I used to eat them all the time and Sainsbury's are the only shop, the only shop that can make them. I'm not getting any. I'm gonna get an apple. Anyway, let's do it. How was your day today, Boo Boo? Really good. You had a good day at school? Yeah. What did you do? And I played with my friends. Yeah? Yeah. Were you a good girl? Yeah. And you learnt lots? Yeah. Good. And even mommy made my hair curly. Yeah, it's very pretty. Mm -hmm. You look very pretty tonight in your dress. Very yeah, sweet. and I've got big shoes on. I know they don't match my dress. They do, they're like little sparklies. Hello. I think they're lovely. Very nice indeed. I'm trying to try scoot on this foot because I normally scoot on this one right. but then it gets tired so, but then my leg hurts for a bit so, so I sit down but I don't really like it when I'm sitting down so I'm trying to on this one but watch Is it hard work? All right, so jump forward a little bit. We've just picked the girls up from school and we're literally just walking down to meet one of our iPhone that we are surprising we for her birthday. Changed. Yeah, we've been home and got changed, sorry guys. Yeah, so we're just walking down now. We're meeting one of our iPhone for her birthday today in Costa Coffee. And oh, I'm excited. She has got no idea. Oh, Esme's got it. Esme's got it. Of course, babe. And if you want a hot chocolate in this warm weather, but yeah, go for it. But yeah, she has absolutely no idea we're coming, so. It's going to be a massive sure surprise for her. Girls, come over here a minute. I'm waiting for a mum to like, I don't want to see us in the car park and ruin the surprise. Oh yeah, sure, yeah. We just need to uh, make sure she's there. <laughs> Dad, just, sorry, I didn't do that right because Dad was just there, like, yeah. <laughs> like a snap. Okay, okay, let's go hide. Okay, come on, right. Hi. Right, Hi. we're going to hide. Hi. You're so sweet, Isla. Okay, do your okay. actions too. I bet I fell in love with friends, fell in love with English. Kissed my neck and then took her by the hand to baby. I just fell in love with the street on the side of the bar. Well done. I don't really know the last one. Show me your best dancing then instead. So, um, just good dancing. Yeah, good dancing. That's amazing. I wanna tell you that I I think you're looking this fine. Okay, we've just had word that they're inside Costa now and we're ready and we're just heading back down now to surprise her. You guys ready? I'm so excited. Are we right, drink? Let's do this. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, that's Hello. so sweet. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we might not get up again. Oh. <laughs> Look at your top girl. Give her a hug. It's her birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Oh, thank you. I love that t-shirt. I, I can just about breathe. Now. <laughs> I don't want to give her a present. <laughs> We brought you a little present. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Listen, can I introduce you to Lottie's new baby? Oh my goodness. 
baby hole. Oh, I saw that down there. You do? do. You do. Do you want to hold that? Let's have a little hold. Very, Be really careful. Is it very sweet one? It's just like yours. She's it's very sweet, Isla, isn't she? She's got lots of fluffy hair. Look at her hair. It's very Beautiful. Nice. Did you just get that for your birthday? No. Wow. She's very pretty. Even Isabel loves baby bee I know. <laughs> I'm the man. She's <laughs> so sweet. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> you have never worried about this. Now I've got to ask you, did you have any idea? Oh. <laughs> Have this been trying? Was it the custard they gave it away? <laughs> I told you, didn't I? Oh. Every time we got You recognise it from our videos, probably, yeah. Every time we got to any custard, she looks around and she's like, Oh, she gets a drink. Let's so no, no, sweet. we'll get them. Honestly. Yeah, don't be silly. Honestly, Pops. we'll get them. Honestly, it's so cozy. <laughs> funny faces. You guys look so cute. Everyone, do you guys make cozies? Oh, I like yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Aww, good girls. That's so sweet. Can I have another big hug? Is that all right, Lottie? Happy birthday, sweetheart. You have a lovely day, okay? So the other day, I received a very special package in the post. I got a parcel from the Patter Cake Books team, and they sent me a present for Father's Day, which I thought was really, really lovely of them. They sent me some super cool books for the girls, and for myself too. So, and a bunch of other cool stuff. So, one of the books we got from them was this super cute book, Me and My Dad. And Esme and Isla have been absolutely dying to read this since we received it yesterday. And it looks so cute. So we are going to settle down now. It's just come to bedtime. We're going to get in my bed. And we are going to start reading this book together. As soon as it's Father's Day coming up at the weekend. Look. That's really cute. Yeah, this is another book we got. We got Down on the Farm. <laughs> and that looks like a big activity book. Probably really good for Isla to have a go with. This looks really cool, babe. We can have a go with this, can't we? Yeah? Let's get in my bed and have a nice read. Are we comfortable? Yeah. Are we snuggled? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Me and my dad. That is a cool book, guys. I loved that very much. Do you know what I thought we could do? What? What's one thing we haven't done in absolutely ages? Watch Can you remember? Button moon. Watch Button Moon. Yeah. Now, for you guys who don't know, I guarantee half of you that are watching this video right now have no idea what Button Moon is. Button Moon used to be a cartoon series when I was little. I used to watch it when I was about Esme's age or even Isla's age when I was little. It used to be on television. It was super popular in the 80s. And you can find it on YouTube. If you YouTube Button Moon, loads of episodes come up. And we found this out a little while ago and we used to watch Button Moon on a night time instead of reading a book or as well as reading a book and we stopped a little while ago we haven't done it for a little bit have we sweetheart but i thought what would be a cool idea is what about if i go and get my phone right now on my ipad yeah. and we watch a button moon yeah should we watch a button moon yeah. yay what do you think that is I think that's the big vacuum cleaner. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah this. this series is so amazing guys. If you haven't checked it out, get on YouTube and have a look. What are you guys doing? Watching Button Moon. Watching Button Moon. Yeah. I have no experience of Button Moon, you guys. I never watched it when I was at home. Was it before my time? No, it was our time. It was, was it before time. my time? Because you're so older than me. We're the same age, for. We're not the same age, you're older. We're one year older, that's it. One year's one year. Twelve whole months. You were walking before I was even born. Anyway, unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut your fun short. Oh, man. Esme. It's bath time. <laughs> it's so sweet. Yes, you are. You got to both jump in. Just quick ones tonight because it's bedtime. Quick baths in our house. I never usually quick baths. Come on then, munchkins. How sick would it be if we like were able to invite like everybody to Esme's birthday and make it like a massive meet up, massive oh, crazy party? Oh, it's such a good idea for like a competition. Imagine. 
It'd be if so we throw sick. a party and do a competition to invite like 10 of our iPhone. Yeah, they're literally like, oh, they might not get you guys down to a, to a massive birthday party. How sick would that be? Like literally, tell us below. Would that be cool? Yeah, but how would they get here? Some some of them... We organise like, we should organise like a massive bus. iFam To pick bus. everybody up, like a massive <laughs> iFam minibus. Go around and pick everybody up, bring them to the party venue and just go mad. Just have a massive mashup birthday party like iFam style. Maybe, Man, that would be cool. Oh my gosh, I've got a better idea. Like, I'm not saying we're famous, but you know like famous people tour and do concerts? Yeah. We could just tour the UK throwing parties. <laughs> in loads of different towns and then you guys could all... We're, we're way like, this is an insane idea. But how much fun would that be? I'm ace at throwing parties. I love it so much. It's like my absolute passion. And this is a random fact for you guys. I actually used to throw pamper parties. She used to have a like business a doing it, yeah. Yeah, as like a like side job type thing. When, well, not even that long ago, like just before YouTube, I used to, I got all the equipment, the nails on my own, just used to go around to people's houses and do like pamper parties, do the hair, do the nails, just dance with them and have fun. I used to actually do that like before YouTube. Yeah, so. she used to be quite good at it. It was good fun. I used to be the guy sat in the car waiting for her outside while she did the party. That was the problem. For like two I, hours. <laughs> I couldn't drive, Chris would have to take me everywhere, bless him. Also guys, I just want to take a moment to say how truly sorry and sad we are for all the people that were involved in the fire in London that happened in the early hours of this morning. There is actually donations happening in lots and lots of different areas. And when I say donations, I mean things like clothes and these people have literally lost, if they haven't lost family members or friends, They've lost everything. Their clothes, just, it's so sad. They've lost everything. And there's loads of collections going on all around. So, I don't know, just Google what's going on in your area. There's lots of places. If you can donate anything, clothes that are just second hand and you've grown out of them, I'm sure they'll be really much appreciated. Yeah, absolutely, guys. And our thoughts and all of our prayers and everything go out to all the families and Definitely. people involved. On that note guys, we're going to say night. Thank you all so much for watching today. If you loved this video, you know what to do. Pew, pew, pew. And we will see you all tomorrow night at 6pm. Good night. <laughs>